hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we will continue with our statistics introduction introduction to statistics for machine learning and data science series so in this tutorial we're going to look at the uh, estimates of vari variability which is just the measure of spread so let's just get started so uh in the last tutorial we have talked about the we have, we have the, uh, talked about the uh, measures of central tendency we did mean mode and median right so this can also call the the location measures right the location measures uh, in descriptive statistics, we use the uh, location measures to uh, uh, measure the central tendency, right? That's what we did in the last tutorial. We, we looked at uh, 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 the mean, the mode, and the mean, which are the commonly used uh, lo location measures. So in this tutorial, we'll, we'll look at the second dimension, which is uh, uh, about talking about variability, which is also called the dispersion measures, okay? Uh, whether the data values are tightly clustered or if they are spread out. That's what the... the the variability tells us the, the, the dispersion of data how dispersed is the data this is what uh, uh it tells us it tells us okay so uh variability matrices so there, there are few matrices we're going to look at if we're going to talk about variability uh so the first one is going to be range so range is the difference between the highest value within a data set and the lowest value within a data set so that's what range is all about so for example i have these values here right uh this data set so the largest number it's uh it's 78 i i uh, they, are, they are they are ordered in ascending order so not really uh, not really ascending order but you can find the largest is 78 and the lowest is uh, two so the difference is uh, six right uh, the difference is uh, 76 which is you get it by uh, taking 78 minus two which is 76 that's the range of our data okay so sorry sorry for the typo this is actually range it doesn't have double e so now that you have done that um let's go ahead and see how we can do this in python so yeah, make sure that you activate your virtual environment and then uh you you uh open jupyter notebook by typing in this command this will open jupyter notebook uh, on your machine so you can just go to the uh, that place and then you can find it here so you can notice i have added a new folder this is just uh, a folder that i added and we'll look at it in the coming tutorial so don't worry about it uh for now just go up here and create a new file a new notebook and you're going to call this simply range because we'll be using it to calculate range so we're going to call it uh a range just like that and you're going to save it so let's go ahead you're going to import few things you're going to import uh numpy for numeric python you're going to import it as np okay so now that you have done that let's go ahead and create a simple a simple data set that we can use to calculate the range so we just go uh we can do data uh, equals to np uh sorry np dot uh arrange so we want uh, random numbers uh values between 20 uh, and 200 uh, with a step of 4 okay so the first value will be 20 the second will be 24 so like going with an interval of 4 but they'll start from 100 so they'll start from uh, uh, 20 to 200 with the range uh, interval of 4 between each number so now that we have that random random data set so that's how you can create a, an R range here in numpy okay so uh, let's look ahead and and get the max uh, the max value of our data set so max value uh, value uh, you can the, by the way you can't say max because max is a keyword in python so keywords in python these are words that are reserved and you're not allowed to use them as variables okay so you can one way you can escape it is by using an underscore or just give it a more descriptive name like max value okay this is what is known as a variable right a variable is just a container that stores data so we can refer to it uh, other on uh, later on in our program so that's what a variable is so this variable is going to store something uh it's going to store the data uh, which is this uh, data we have created data we have created uh, there's a method called mean sorry uh, the cursor here so this is mean so this return to us the mean of this data set and i mean in this case will be 20 right so sorry the max of this so this is actually max my bad this is actually max so this return to us the max of this numbers here this data set the max value within so let's also get the mean uh, value uh, so data dot mean uh, and then we get run that cell so we can print out the max underscore value and we have the max value which is uh, 196 which you can see here is 196 which is biggest value because these are ordered in uh, ascending order so uh, let's also look at uh, mean uh, underscore value uh, this is value will be equals to just run it so you can see the mean value is 20 which is the first value here because it's ordered this data set is ordered in ascending order so we have that value the mean here which is 20 and then the max which is uh, 
uh, the max value which is one 196 so to calculate range you simply have to say range and you can see range is a keyword in python you can notice the keywords they have been highlighted in green so we can skip that by using an underscore and then we can say that uh, the max is the 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 range is can go back the slice the range is the difference between and uh, go back uh, okay here the, the range is different between the max value and the mean value that's what the range is all about so let's uh, calculate that so we're going to say uh, max uh, underscore value value um, minus the mean underscore value and you can uh, okay I got an error so this uh, I have to uh, use the assignment operator so this equal sign is known as the assignment operator so now I can go range underscore and we can print that there so the different the, the range of this data set is just 176 which is the difference between 196 and 20 right which is just 100 and uh, uh, 76 so that's how you can calculate range uh, uh, of a given data set and that's what range is all about it's just the difference between the largest data set the, the largest data uh, in your data set and the smallest data within your data set okay it's the smallest value within your data set so that's all uh, I wanted us to discuss in this tutorial so in the next tutorial we'll look at uh, deviation which is just error so that's what we'll be looking at in the next tutorial so guys thanks for watching if you like this tutorial give it a thumbs up if you don't like this tutorial give it a thumbs down and let us know in the comment why you like this tutorial or why you hate this tutorial if there are any feedbacks on how i can improve this tutorial to benefit all of us and you guys mostly please let me know leave a comment in the comment section below and guys help me by uh, subscribing to this channel and liking this video so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial